Hi all. So today we are going to discuss on uh, with sharing and without sharing. Okay. So today we will cover explanations and definition, and then user context and system context. Then we will see some live interview question and answers on with sharing and without sharing. With programmatically means how the tricky questions will come when you are in uh, interview sessions. So uh, let us start. So uh, just see this diagram. In first diagram, you can see there are a uh, one track. In that track, few people are running, and in other opposite. In this diagram, if you see the same track, but multiple people are running. So what do you find the difference? Right? The difference is only the less people are there. In a same way, in a same way, we have a with sharing and a without sharing. So the first image is with sharing, right? Only few people, limited people are running there, and in second one, multiple people are running. Okay, means it's a without sharing. Everyone is running. So I can give you the one example here. So suppose if one company organize a marathon, so it's a one company. Suppose Deloitte is organizing it, so only the people who are working in Deloitte are eligible to run there. But if you will see in next image, if suppose any uh, political parties are going to organize anything, so multiple people will come. Okay, so they 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 don't have a range of ages. So if the employee is there, so definitely the age of the employee is eighteen plus. Okay, but here in a different scenario, we have any age means the four four year old or a sixty year old. Anyone can come and run. This is the difference. So let's see the def, uh, def, definition, and you will come more about it. So here, with sharing means just it will enforce. With sharing will enforce all the profiles, permission set, sharing rules, or field level security, which is applied on that particular class. Okay. So suppose if you want to pull some data from a one territory. Okay. So if you will run your command, so one user is related to one territory, right? He has a control of suppose one territory. So only those required, uh, those records are only uh, should come in the uh, query. It is not means if the user belong to the Mumbai, so uh, means only Mumbai record is uh, means should come in in his list. It is not really all complete India's record are coming in that. A list. This is a not right way. So this is a with sharing. Without sharing means it will just bypass all the sharings and it will hold the complete data. Because now suppose your manager is there and he want to get the access of complete Maharashtra. So if he will run the query, so the complete data of Maharashtra will come. This is an example. Okay. Two sharings are there. But nowadays, in Lightning, uh, means it's inherent sharing is also came in most of the interview you have seen um, why we are using the inherent sharing. So the simple and it is recently means you not recently so uh, means this came in winter nineteen. That means so if we will use in uh, inherent sharing, so we can run our class with both with or without sharing. Means it depend. Right, the context which is calling. Okay, suppose it it can be called by with sharing, so it will give the support to with sharing. If it's a without, then it will support the without sharing. It is just a uh, means on a high level. On a high level, we can say that it can support both the classes from where it depends. Depend the context where it is calling from. Okay, now we have seen um, with sharing and without sharing. With sharing means a user context. Means it depend on the user. So most of the interviews you they will ask what is system context or the user context. So since system uh, context means without sharing, without any boundary, it can pull every data. Okay, but like Maharashtra, it will pull the complete Maharashtra data. But in user context is specific to the user what they have access. So according to that access, it will pull the data. This is the only difference between. 
system context and user context okay going forward now let's see some few examples of uh, by programming they will give this kind of uh, program where you have to give the answer so if you will see here public without sharing is the outer class and inner class is with sharing so what do you think what the complete process will follow so the both inner and outer will run in user context okay because suppose if we have a sum list in inner class which are going to be pulled by the without class so what will happen so with sharing will get only those data suppose uh, the, this inner class holds the data of mumbai so it will if this list will go to the above class so it will give you the data of only Ma mumbai only so if you are trying to push the maharashtra so it will not come okay so Salesforce provide the least one in a priority. Now, if you will come to the second one, so if you will see, without sharing is inner class, but a with sharing is a outer class. So what will be there? It is just opposite of the question one. So here, inner class will run in a without context, but when data will come in above class, so it will run in in outer class means it will support the complete context in a sense system context both inner i hope uh, this one is clear because these two are mostly asked in uh, in interviews to means to they will confuse you okay hope it will be clear now it's just tricky questions so you can see these tricky questions here so if a class is declared at with sharing then the sharing rule will be apply on constructor yes it will apply on all the constructor methods everywhere if a class is with sharing it is not possible that if you declare a class with sharing and you're trying to put it a without sharing like construct it is not possible okay so can we declare inner and outer clause with sharing? Yes, we can declare, just we have seen the above examples. So how to declare the with class and without class? So uh, we have seen that with sharing, without sharing, and head sharing. So just only in a class, we have to add with sharing. That's all. In without class, without sharing, we have to just without class. Okay. But in inherit, means it is recently introduced as I suggested you. So mostly it is used in lightning mostly they are trying to use in lightning also we can use in apex means apex means if you are using the visual force page so you can use this one also but inherit means it only hold the inherit sharing in a class now i hope everything uh, you have seen here and uh, let me know if you have any question on this one just give me a comment I will give you the answer. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much.